Welcome back to another Tom Roberts Golf video. Today we are at Woodhall Spa, the home of England Golf, and I'm excited. This is the home of the Hotchkin course, which is a very highly ranked course here in the UK and actually across the world as well. It ranks in the top 100 in the world, and it also ranks as the hardest course in the UK. So this is going to be an interesting challenge. We have played here before. I did shoot 24 over, but I'm here. I feel like my golf game is in a much better spot right now. So I want to shoot way lower than that. Mid 80s is the objective today. Guys, just to demonstrate how hard this course is, I'm a 9.5 handicap at the moment, index, and I'm playing off 13. So I got three and a half shots, which is crazy. Uh, first hole is a straightaway par four, not a particularly long one, nice entry hole to the course. Ooh, that is a bit left. All right, it's live, we'll find it. The reason that I'm back up here at Woodall Spa is because I've actually been doing some filming for the England Golf uh, channel and social channels. So you might see me talking about some adverse weather conditions soon and how adverse weather conditions affect the rules. This is probably the best condition that I've played this course in. Both times I've played it before, it's been super wet and super windy. It's still, it's a little chilly, but the sun's just decided to come out. Poor swing off the first has meant that the lie I've got here is not great. We're kind of sitting in some really thick stuff. Um, the thing with Woodall Spa is there are so many bunkers here. I think there's like over 150 bunkers on the course, which is obscene. So realistically, I don't want to go in any of them. Um, so I'm going to try and lay up uh, in front of the bunker there, just making sure I get good contact on this to get it out. Oh my God, I've gone straight under the ball. That is mental. Ball must have been sitting on the tuft. This is not the start I was looking for, that's for sure. Just sit short of the bunker, please. Ah, oh, damn. Feels like a shot wasted there, but shouldn't have pulled it in the rough. Realistically, I'd love to get an up and down now because that would only mean a bogey. Um, 58 yards to the pin. I think just getting it on the green is just definitely the priority here. Oh, it's trundled off the back. Making a bit of a meal of this first one. It's picked clean and placed, guys, so anything that's mowed, I'm gonna be cleaning the ball off. Um, got myself about 45 foot putt off the edge here, uh, but it is gonna be downhill and it is gonna be quick, so just need to be a little bit careful. Oh my God, I am absolutely butchering this. This feels like the last time I played it when I shot 22 over on the front and then maybe I shot two on the back, which was nuts. That feels pretty good. Yeah, safe little one there. I mean, limit the damage. We could have ended up with a, a quad bogey, but there we go. Right, I promise my game is in a good spot. We are going to score well today. That's not, an, that's not indicative of how this round is gonna go. All right, so we've now got second hole, 399 yard half four. I think I've said to myself that just take driver the majority of the time today. I've just been hitting it so much better. That's a dangerous thing to say. Um, there's a bunker that's like a 230 carry in front of me, so I just need to be a little bit left of that. Hopefully it's not drifting at the bunker, because it didn't hit it very well. Oh, oh, it skipped. Skipped over the top of it. We got very lucky there. Very lucky, people. Yeah, I mean, that's gone a fairly long way. Was not expecting it to find this far up. Got 112 in somehow, so pins at the front. Got a pitching wedge. Going to let it just go past the pin, I think, is the plan. Uh, it's a little left. Should be on, though. Oh, roll up. Yeah, it's just rolled on, so probably pin eye. About a 30 footer to the pin here. I mean, just I barely tapped it and that has got all the way to the hole. Although I've left myself a little bit of a knee knocker there. Get in there, whew, that was close. All right, we make our first par. We take a bit of the damage from the last hole off. Get on to the next. All right, uh, next up we have the third hardest hole on the course, guys. It's a 406 yard par four. Um, realistically, this course does get really meaty uh, from about this point on. And we are playing downwind the whole time right now, so it's gonna get a little more difficult once we start turning back into it. 
bit left. Keep an eye on that one. Yeah, it bounced. There is a bunker up there though, so hopefully. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying there's a bunker up there. There's a bunker up everywhere, guys. It's, 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 it's non-stop. I'm playing with George, who works at iGolf today, and uh, we've got a bit of a match going on. Um, so I'll keep you updated on how that's going. We're currently all square after the first two. He won the first, I won the second. Um, so yeah, this is the best conditions I've played this course in by miles, just because every time it's been cold, wet and really windy which I think is predominantly what happens up here in Lincoln. So we've got 141 to the pin. This is actually a signature hole here because of the uh, tower that you can see to the right hand side. Um, I'm going to hit a nine iron at this one. Just going for the middle of the green, not trying anything special today. Oh, I've lost it right. Come round, come on wind, push it. Don't hit that bunker. <gasps> Don't go out of bounds. Okay. so. The actual castle's out of bounds and that fence in front of it, I am extremely close to. Right. All right guys, we've got a 70 footer from the fringe here. These greens are so bloody pure. That is unbelievably pure. And that is a great putt from there. Just got a tiny little bit longer, I guess, because George has made his long putt for five there. All right, another four. Yep, let's just keep this going. I like it, I like it. All right, so we've got the 11th hardest hole on the course here. It's 379 yards, but we have just turned back into the wind slightly, so makes it a bit more of an interesting shot, this one, especially since it's blind over the heather. Yeah, well, I've hit the line that George said I should hit, so yep, I'm bouncing, we're good. Uh, not sure if the camera caught that last one because I, uh, I think I angled it at the floor, but um, we threaded everything perfectly and we have 110 yards in here to a back stick. So I'm a little bit perplexed as what to do. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more club than I need, even though the pin's at the back guys, because the wind is starting to come at us a little bit. I'm just gonna hit like a knockdown pitching wedge. Should be on, unless it goes through the back. Is it? Yep, we're on. GIRs, that's all we're after today. Not leaving myself with good chances here. This is a... Uh... 14 yards. Honestly, these greens are unbelievably nice. They are so pure, it's outrageous. Another four. All right, we're three over through four. That's a bit of a recovery, that. All right, so we've got a par three next, uh, slightly into wind, seems about 133 yards away. Um, basically, this course is a case or it's just a lesson of just don't miss, just hit fairways and hit greens, or otherwise you are going to be in absolute agony as you saw in the first hole. So let's just make sure that we put a nice swing this on this one. Oh, I think I caught that a bit fat. It says don't miss and then immediately misses. Don't know if that's a bunker at the front or whether I cleared the heather. Well, let's have to go have a look. All right, guys, here we go. Our first experience of a Woodall Spa bunker. And what a bunker it is, holy smoke. I am lower than that lip, that's for sure. I uh, just definitely want to play this left, so make sure you get it out. Hit the sand nice and firm, get it out. Yeah, we'll take that all day long. I don't know where it is, but it's out, so pretty sure this, this feels quite flat. I can't really tell, to be honest. Come on, let's keep that par train going. Let's put a good roll on this one. Oh, it didn't turn at all. Decent weight though, so tap in, stress-free bogey there after what was the biggest bunker I've ever seen. So, all right, we've turned slightly downwind again, but we are on the hardest hole on the course. It's a 464 yard par four. You play this one off the backs, so it's actually a par five, so. Yeah, we're in the fairway. I don't think it's gone a mile, but it'll do. Okay, so part of the charm of Woodall Spa is obviously the bunkers. There's loads of them. And the reason there's so many is because naturally this place is on sand, so there's just natural bunkers everywhere, um, which is a really, really nice feature. But because it's so sandy, it means it stays dry when it's wet, and therefore the fairways are running pretty quick right now. I mean, I didn't feel like I hit that driver very well, as I was saying, like, 
fairways are immaculate, they're solid, ball's running out a long way, and I'm downwind 283. I've got about 180 left in. I think I'm probably hitting like a six. That is such a good strike. It might actually be too good. Or maybe it'll be really good. Oh wow, okay, it's come up quite a bit short. I thought I'd absolutely creamed it, but yeah, still really happy with the strike. All right guys, so it turns out this is why my ball didn't go as far as I thought it was because it landed, it pitched into the upslope and uh, and then obviously come back a little bit. So if it had landed another probably like four yards on, it would have probably got out the back, I would imagine, because it would have just rolled on and on and on, on. But we've now got 66 foot for a bird on the hardest hole on the course. Take that. Go on, ball, travel. Now slow down. Slow down. Uh, pin eye just needed to give it a lot more to the right. I think I, I think I could have read that better. And he's done it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's go, baby. All right, okay, so next up, we've got a 409 yard par four. There's not many par fours other than the first couple that start in a three. Um, this one's an interesting one. It dog legs round to the right. Um, I've got a line on the edge of the, uh, the bunkerage on the right hand side of the fairway where it dog legs. I'm thinking that I can carry that as long as I hit it all right. So let's just hit it all right, you know. Oh, that is not a good hit. There's a chance that actually gets lost as well. All right, I've seen it down. I've probably got to hit a provisional though, guys. That's better. That should clear that bunker for sure. Oh. Oh no, it has. I think it might have bounced over it. I can't really tell, but I think it landed in front of it, jumped over it. All right, result, we have found the first ball. However, we are only hitting out of the heather for the first time. Um, I'm really hoping to actually have a good round today because then all the doubters of my handicap can be silenced because I'm playing with uh, an England golf staff today. So he is the king of the handicaps. He basically has influence on how the handicap system works. Maybe not quite that much, but. It's out. I mean, that was supposed to go 160 yards and it's got about 70, but it's in the fairway, so that's a bit of a result. Whoa, wind just absolutely picked up a treat, guys. All right, 55 yards, wind is gusting. Gonna aim a fair whack over to the right of the flag. I think it will filter down left anyway, so. Oh, I think I've overdone it. Shit, sit. Oh, Tom, you had the whole world to aim at. Why have you put it long? Sit there. All right, I got a chance. Okay, for a bogey, I've got this just coming off the right slightly. Just ever so slightly, but if I get this wrong, it's going a long way past, so. Go on, ball. Oh, double bogey out of nowhere. It was looking like a really solid round until that hole, and the first hole. <laughs> right, okay, so wind has actually picked up. All of my stuff earlier about how it was great, great conditions and now it's starting to really, really blow. So uh, we've got a really hard into wind par three. It's 170 to a front pin location on this one. That's right on it, I think. Lost it in the sun, but... Didn't see it. Just short. Just short. Oh yeah, I see it, yeah. Uh, that means that I've just actually pured a five iron 145 yards, guys. So ball is just off the front, um, pitched just on the front edge and just rolled off a little bit. Um, so got 30 fit to this pin, but I think it's going to play more like 35, 40 because it's so uphill. Um, so yeah, let's give this a little tap and see what happens. What we don't want is it to come back to our feet, that's for sure. Get up there. Sit there. Quick, put a mark on it. Yes. I'll take that all day long on that hole for sure. Uh, next up, we've got our first par five straight away. It's downwind. Let's just give it a knock. I like these stripes. They're giving me a really nice reference. Thank you, Woodall Spa staff, for, uh, for putting these lovely stripes into the tee box. It's making my day. Ooh, it's fading a little bit. Should be all right. Yeah, it's up there. Mate, it just runs forever. It's actually like playing in summer. All right, so um, it's not really a shot I can go for, guys. Uh, it's like 280 to the pin, even downwind. 
Um, I could just about get front edge with a, with a three wood, but it's just not the place. So I'm gonna hit a five iron down there. Yeah, well, that's not gonna do it because that is quite fat, but once again, summer, it's not summer, it's winter and it's rolling miles, so. It's got about 95 to the pin here. Um, it's at the front, gonna take a little bit more club, go with a 50 degree. Hopefully just have it land smack bang on it. Oh, I caught that so bloody well. Be good. Oh, oh, oh! Thank you. I'm getting clapped, guys. That is a, that's a first. Thank you. That is the first time that's happened. Oh, I'm actually gassed. That guy loved it. All right, so this is why he was going, all because that's the pitch mark there. There's the ball. So that must have been so close to actually going in. No wonder he was... You know what, the only problem is he's actually got my um, adrenaline pump in. I don't know if I'll make the putt now. Oh, you idiot, Tom. All right, it's a five, sadly. Oh, that stinks so bad. So we've rounded the turn, I'm six over. I wish I just made that birdie putt, that would have been lush, but I feel like uh, there's a good chance to have a good back nine as well, although we're gonna be playing into wind for the majority of it. So that's gonna make a bit of a difference, but we're swinging it well, I feel good. Let's just keep on going. All right, so we've probably, I think we've got the shortest par four on the course here. It's 3.30, it's dog leg to the right. There's a big bunker about 2.30 that I'm not even gonna attempt to clear. So I'm just gonna take a five iron and try and rifle it up there. That is not very good. Hopefully it's gonna get that big bounce and just run out. Oh, oh, is that in the heather? Oh dear. I didn't think it was that bad. I think we might have just exceeded the three minutes looking for this ball. I cannot believe it's actually even in the heather, but it's miles short of getting through it, which is unbelievable. So um, I'm gonna have to lay up. I've got a 50 degree in hand. I'm just going to hit it over into the fairway over there. I'll do it. All right, it'll do, it'll do. All right, okay, so let's see if we can put this close. 123 to the pin here, wind slightly off the right. Oh, I've let it go. Calm wind, help me out here. Big time. All right, we might just be putting, but I think I'm on the fringe. Also, there is another reason that I'm up at Woodall Spa. So you may have seen previously on the channel, a man by the name of Sam Vickers. He is the strength and conditioning coach for England Golf. So you know he knows his stuff. I've been working with him for about a year now and he's going to be helping me with my brand new series, which is five handicaps in five months. So we're going to grind through the winter. We're gonna do monthly updates on my progress. We're gonna do some benchmarking. We're gonna do a whole load of really cool stuff that will help your game as well. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see it. And the aim is to go from a 10 handicap to a five handicap in five months. It's ambitious. But with his help, I think I can do it. But we'll have to see what he says in that video that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Got about 66 foot to the pin here, guys, just from the edge. Would love a two putt, won't lie. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's not turning how I expected at all. Wow, I was expecting that to go about 20 foot right, but it's not the worst putt, but we got a, we got a slider now. We got a slider. Perfect, that's a good five that is, after that awful tee shot. So we've got a 404 yard par four and it's SI6, this one. Uh, there's a bunker on the left at about 250. I'm, I'm kind of using that as an aimer because the whole fairway slopes right or left to right. Oh, that is bad. Get lucky, get through. Oh, it's through. Oh, that is so lucky. Holy smokes, that was an awful strike, but we got away with it. 182 to the pin here, guys, after a pretty poor drive. Um, anywhere on the green. It's gonna be the play here, gonna hit a five iron. Oh, I've caught it a little fat and a little right. Should be fine though. Yeah, it's bouncing up there, gonna need to look for an up and down. I think I said earlier, unbelievably, I actually shot two over par on the back nine last time into wind. So I don't know what happened. I think it was just one of those moments after shooting 22 over on the front and um, just went inside myself. I was actually just speaking to George and he said um, that he can never string a good front nine with a back nine and he can't string a front nine with a back nine if that makes sense because every time you shoot a good front nine you then put the pressure on yourself because you want to shoot a good score so your back nine falls apart and if you've uh, if you've shot a good back nine it's probably because you shot a bad front nine um, because you've got no pressure on you to do well. It's a really, really frustrating thing about this game, 
but um, yeah, I just want to keep this going. I feel pretty good, so let's keep at it. Just going to go a little toe down here. Um, got about 25 yards of the pin. Just make sure I clear the uh, first set of rough, and it should it trickle on up there. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to do there. Could not be happier. Yes. Come on. That's a good up and down for a par there. Update on the match with me and George. The ball marker might be coming home with me, I won't lie. Add it to collection, because George is currently three down. I think we've got about five to play. No, six. I think we've got seven to play, George. What are you talking about? Next up, guys, we have a par three. It is the easiest on the course, apparently. Uh, it does have bunkers all around it. 130 to a front stick. I'm going to take a nine, try and go past the pin. There's a little bit of wind into face, although it's dropped again, so God knows what's going on. Um, I'm thinking straight at it is the player. Oh, Tom, why did you do that? Oh, that is not a good spot to be. Hmm. Yeah, not really sure what happened there. Just crap. Right, okay, so this ball has gone absolutely nowhere, guys. Uh, still got about 80 yards to pin. I am in the heather. Whether I'm getting through it and getting this ball out is another story, but we'll give it a go. Well, it's out. Might be looking at big score here, guys. I'm in a bunker on the right. 60 degrees out, guys. I need, I mean, look at it. Look at the state of that. Please say it's spun and stat. And you can see how quickly this place will eat you up. Because I'm now on the brink of making, well, putt this massive putt for a bogey. Potentially double bogey, potentially triple. Come on, ball. Trundle. Trundle. Keep trundling. All right, so as I said, on the brink of making a triple out of nowhere. Ah, uh, pushed it. That's pathetic. I just never gave it a chance. I hate left at the uh, those ones that fall away from you. All right, that's a six. Just after making a triple, guys, we're now onto the second hardest hole in the course. It's into wind. It's 430 yards. It's the par four. And I've come back with a vengeance. I've absolutely piped that one. George loves it. <laughs> uh, we've got 178 yards to the pin here. Well. 160 playing 178 because of the wind. Oh no, that is so bad. Sit. Oh, it clipped a tree as well. Okay, I'm going to have to play a provisional in case I don't find that. Call that fat, but it might trundle. You never know. Good bounce. Looks like it bounced pretty hard. Oh my god. That's if it goes in. <laughs> Pass the pin. All right, so you found the first ball, guys, um, just off to the right. Unfortunately, Sud's law, I've got this massive tree in the way. Uh, the pin is right behind it, so about 25 yards to it. I'm just going to go straight left of the tree. Get on. Okay, it's just trundled on, so mission accomplished. This ball's getting retired after this hole, guys. It has been wham. Got 27 foot to the pin. Let's see if we can make it, eh? Go on, turn, turn. Oh, all right, it's a bogey. Damage limitation after the second shot. Could have been a lot worse considering we could have lost the ball. We've got par five here, guys, into wind. Uh, kind of turns around to the, uh, to the right, I believe. So I'm just gonna hit one down there for now. Oh, I've snapped it. Sit. Oof. Okay, I might just hit a provisional just in case I can't find that one. You know, it's pretty much as well. We'll find one of them. Pretty much the same spot. That is not where you want to be. Right, well, found the first ball, guys, but my punishment is that um, I am going to have to chip out, and it's not an easy chip out, that's for bloody sure. Got to go between these two trees, back out onto the fairway. Yeah. Just sit. Don't go in the bunker. Sit. It. Okay, it's not in the bunker. Oh my God, that was close to going in the bunker. Holy smoke. 
I feel like I've just lost it in the last couple of holes, but I'm not too worried. I still feel like I'm swinging it pretty well. Just need to not get lazy and tired over these last four holes and let it all go to kaput. Right, okay, we've got a little fluffy lie. It's gonna come up quite high because it's off an upslope. Uh, gonna aim left of the pin because quite a bit of space over there. Ah, uh, lost it. That's in the bunker. Yep, bunker it is. Oh dear. All right, 50 yards, come on, Tom. Oh shit, sit. <sighs> Caught it thin, it's out the back. In a bush. Fortunately, we're still alive. Super soft back here, so the ball's just like sat, but now I've just got to be careful that it's not going to plug the club or catch it, catch it fat, I guess. Oh, that's so bad. I'm having a mare. Just make it a tap-in. <laughs> Couldn't just make it a tap-in, could you? All right, it's a seven. I mean, we went everywhere in that hole, literally everywhere. <laughs> so we have got a short par four here. Um, I'm actually laying up, just going straight in the fairway with a six iron, and then hopefully just having a, a mid wedge or mid, mid iron in. A bit better. Oh. Might be on the edge of a bunker, which might mean the lie's not great, but. All right, so got 150 for the pin. Uh, I'm actually hitting a seven iron because my arms are getting tired and heavy from carrying all this equ camera equipment. <laughs> oh, I've hit it right. See, I know that I'm getting tired when I start hitting stuff right. Wow, bunker's round there. Fingers crossed we're not in the bunker back there. Right, in the bunker here. It's gonna be quite quick when we come out of it as well. Oh, Tom! I got so lucky that's not cannon through the back. Oh, I'm playing so bad now. Clunking them out of bunkers. Oh, that front line is a distant memory. Right, not good guys. Really sitting down here. Just gonna to have to try and chop it out a little bit. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh God, it's all going f***ing Pete Tong, it really is. I'm holding a nine iron. How the hell have I picked up a nine iron? For sake. All right, might end up with a six. Okay, straight in there, six. Oh, it's more damage. It's more damage, guys. Okay, we've got a 360 yard par four next up, straight away. Let's see if we can get our round back together for these last three holes, eh? That's better. Yeah, down there. All right, here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna aim quite far left of the pin here. Got 137 in. I'm gonna commit, I'm still gonna commit. I'm not gonna bail out of making this shot, even though I'm aiming left. That could be really good. I need, I would love a birdie. I would love to take some of these awful shots off that I've put on my card so far. Yeah, it came up quite a bit short, guys. Just shows that I am tired and cold, I think. That looks really good. Shall I walk it in, just for the fun? No, don't break more right at the last second. All right, it's a solid par, no stress. We'll take it. So we've got a 317 yard dog leg left into win par four, SI 15. Let's, um, let's hit a driver down there, eh? Yeah, absolutely crushed that one. Don't think I could hit it much better. Perfect, all right. Setting ourselves up, that's what we've got to do. Also, I don't want to be that guy, but we're currently dormy. I'm two up with two to play against yeah. George, so. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna film your shot, George. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off. This is mental. I am so far up, guys. Um, I'm just gonna check how, what yardage that was, because that is, oh, it's only 264, but we threaded the needle, that's the thing. Now the uh, pin is a mere 40 yards away. I'm actually gonna take my 54 degree this time, guys. Give that a good clean, get some of the water off it. Might even clean the grooves. 
take a good bounce. Oh, it has. Go on, roll up. I got lucky there. That was a pretty poor shot, but it's taken a good kick and actually ended not too far away from the pin. 18 footer here for the bird. Oh wow, that broke an absolute mile. All right, it's another par back to back. So let's finish with a par or a birdie. Come on, it's par five. It's not a long one either. All right, so here we go. On to the last. Sun is starting to set. 484 yard par five. Oh, it's just turning a little bit. Stay away from those bunkers. It's bouncing. I'm hoping it's not got to that bunker. All right, okay guys, I found the bunker sadly. Gonna hit 50 degree out, just make sure we get out. And then, um, and then after that, we'll have about a 200 yard shot in, so. We're out. That should be fine. Yeah, pretty much exactly where we needed to be there. All right, 200 yards to the flag here, guys. Got a four iron in hand. No, Tom, don't bottle it now. Get out the bunker, fudge. I shouldn't have taken the four iron. I did not feel comfortable. All right, get eight in hand. Is that gonna get over this lip? Holy smokes, there's a chance it doesn't. No, Tom. I bottled it on the last, guys. I'm fuming. No, it's just getting out because we're so close to the edge. Caught that ball well as well. Oh my God, I can't get out. <sighs> oh my God. I've uh, blobbed the last. That is super frustrating. Come on, get out of this bunker. I'm actually devastated, guys. Well, uh, I've done so well up to this point. The engagement's there already. Oh, I can't see anything now because the sun's in my blooming eyes as well. All right. Get over that bunker, I beg. Oh, a meltdown on the last, as if. That's crazy. All right. Well, if you stayed until this stage of the video, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. I think I'd be lying if I didn't say I was bitterly disappointed right now um, about how that's kind of all come out, but it is what it is, I guess. This will just be a blob on the scorecard. We'll see what my uh, my my G would have been at the end, eh? Pretty good. Oh, and by good, I mean I've absolutely flushed it through the back. Can't account for flushing it though. Not an easy shot either to finish off here. All right, toe down chip. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Where it ends, no one will know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'll tell you what, at least my putting's been amazing today. I won't lie, guys. There we go. Okay, guys, what can I say? Total head loss on the 18th there. Absolutely, bitterly disappointed after such a good front nine to have such a poor back nine slash 18th. Um, really, really stupid of me. Why didn't I just splash out of that bunker? Um, I think, I haven't actually been able to count how many I was in that bunker for, but I'll watch it back in the footage. So you'll see on the screen what I'm over. Sadly, I think it means I didn't break 90, which is just so stupid of me. So I'm actually so frustrated with myself, but we've all been there. We all know what it feels like. However, on the MyEG app, it does actually cancel down to an 88 with the blobs. So. I mean, that is what, a 16 over? So I can't really be too disappointed. I actually shot 33 points. Um, so that means that I was only three off shooting a handicap of, of, of you know, of nine, because that would have been my uh, playing handicap today. So yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Hopefully you've enjoyed um, some bunker practice, maybe. I don't know. Just don't go in them. It's hard work, I won't lie. The worst thing is I've been so good out of bunkers all day. Oh whatever. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to England Gold for having me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.